All right, today we're just going to go piggyback off of what we learned yesterday. Okay, so this is lesson 2.10. We're going to be adding and subtracting numbers in scientific notation. Okay, so remember, you know, read this stuff that I have here. It's important. In order to add or subtract numbers written in scientific notation, they must have the same exponent, huh? Like terms. Bing, 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 bing. Okay, then we're going to use Lars. Remember, left, add, and the arrow that will mess up, right, subtract on one of the numbers to adjust the exponents that so that it is the same as the other. Then we will add or subtract the numbers. We will keep the common exponent. Then again, don't forget, use Lars again to adjust if the decimal needs to be in the correct scientific notation. Remember, the number has to be bigger than 1 and less than 10. So between 1 and 10. Okay, so let's first look here at example 1. First off, this exponent's a 3. Oops, sorry. Oh, 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 don't do it. And this exponent's a 2. So I need those exponents to be the same number. Remember, Lars... Again, left, we add, right, we subtract. So if I want to make, let's say I want to make this a 3, I need to move the decimal to the left one. And then I can add 3. Now I have 8 times 10 to the third plus 0 0.5 times 10 to the fifth power. And then we can add these numbers together, right? Eight, you're simply adding the numbers in the front. Eight plus 0 0.5 is 8.5. Oh, <laughs> why did I say three? Oh my gosh, what a goober, that's not right. I was thinking I wanted it to be three. We're adding one, I moved one, I'm so sorry. It's a three. Now they are like terms we can add. Oh my goodness. My apologies. So 8.5 times 10 to the third power is 8.5 bigger than 1 and less than 10. Show enough is. So we're going to stick it in the box and we're done with that. Move it on. Move it on. All right, look at number 2. I have an exponent of 10 and an exponent of 11. Let's make this one bigger, okay? I like to use, I like to adjust the exponent that's smaller. So, if I want to make this bigger, because I need it to be 11, I want to add 1, that means I move the decimal one place to the left. So, 0 0.6 times 10 to the 11th power minus 1.2 times 10 to the 11th power. I can go ahead and subtract my numbers. So, I'm going to just subtract the numbers, 0 0.6 minus 1.2. So let's do it. 0 0.6 minus 1.2 is negative 0 0.6 times 10 to the 11th power. Okay, and I know when I said the number needs to be between 1 and 10, don't pay attention to the sign. We're just actually looking at this portion of the number. And since it's 0.6, that is not greater than 1. We need to move the decimal. So I'm going to move the decimal one place to the right. I'm going to refer to my Lars. I move to the right. I subtract one. Now I have negative 6. You could put point zero if you want. Times 10 to the 10th power. Okay, I know, yes, you're like, negative 6 is not between 1 and 10. But the... The absolute value of it is, let's just, let's have I use that vocabulary. So the absolute value of the number must be between 1 and 10. Okay. Uh, remember I said I like to work with the smallest? Well, I have negative 2. I need to make it negative 1. So that means I need to add. I need to move the decimal to the left and add 1. Be careful when you're adding to a negative. 8.1 times 10 to the negative 1 minus 0 0.4 times 10 to the negative 1. Now they're like terms, hey! So we take 
minus 0.4, it gives us 7.7 .7 times 10 to the negative first power. 7.7 .7 is between 1 and 10, so I'm cool with that. I'm going to let it go. Okay, what happens if I, nope, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing because that's just what I do, okay? So negative 7 is smaller than negative 6, so let's adjust this. I need to add 1 to make it negative 6. That means I need to move left 1. That gives me 0 0.27 times 10 to the negative 6 power. And we're adding to this original expression. 9.4 times 10 to the negative 6. Because they're times 10 to the negative 6, they are like terms. 9.4 plus 0 0.27 is... Blah, 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 blah. What is that? It is 9.6 7 times 10 to the negative 6 power. 9.67 is less than 10 and bigger than 1, so I'm good with that. We're just going to leave it alone. All right? So if you need to, if I was going too fast, make sure you pause the video to copy down these notes. Okay? And don't forget about Lars. And now, what I want you to do is I want you, because you all should have this paper, I would like you all to do 5 through 10 on your own. Let me shrink this down a little bit because it is quite large up here, okay? So you can do number 5 through 10 on your own. Be sure to pause the video and check to see if you know what you're doing. And if you don't, make sure you look to find your mistake. Okay, so for number five, I had to move, you had to move two decimal places in the second term in order to add two. So you had to go one, two, giving us 0 0.03, okay? And then you're able to subtract and you're good to go. Then for number, um, number six, I had to move this one three decimal places again. One, two, three. So 0 0.002 times 10 to the 8. Now I can add that to 6.4 times 10 to the 8. In number 7, there are two, I have to add 2 to negative 1. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to add 3 to negative 1 to get it to be positive 2. So if I need to add 3, then I need to move 3 places. 1, 2, 3. So 0 0.0014. Now I can add that to 5.1. In number eight, I had to subtract, or no, I'm sorry, I had to add two to negative seven to be negative five. That means I need to move this two places, giving me 0 0.094. Now you can go ahead and subtract the two because they are like terms. In number nine, we needed to add one here, so I simply had to move it one place. Okay, giving me 0.29. Then you can go ahead and add the numbers. Number 10, 1 and negative 1. We well, need to add 2 to make that positive 1. So we go two places. 1, 2. Giving me 0 0.02 times 10 to the first. All right, good. Hopefully you did really well. If you didn't, please send me a message on Schoology. I'm like dying to answer your questions. All right, before we get on to more words, okay, we want to define first what it means to be the sum. Sum means add. We're going to add. So let's set it up. 4.1 times 10 to the first plus 7.7 .7 times 10 to the third. I want to add two to that one. That means I'm going to move two times here. 0 0.041 times 10 to the third plus 7.7 .7 times 10 to the third. Now I can go ahead and add those numbers. I get 7.741 times 10 to the third power. Fantastic. Now, what does the word difference mean? Difference means subtract. Okay, and keep it in the same order. This is not a turnaround phrase, like less than or subtracted from. We're just going to write it the way we read it. 
6.5 times 10 to the negative 6 minus 1.9 times 10 to the negative 7th power. Okay, negative 7 is the smallest. I'm going to want to add 1 to that. So if I add 1, that means I move to the left 1. So I have 6.5 times 10 to the negative 6 power minus 0.19 times 10 to the negative 6 power. Okay, 6.5 minus 0.19 is 6.5. Three, one times, mm -hmm. sorry about that. Sometimes my pen gets crazy. Oh, it's still getting crazy. 6.31 times 10 to the negative 6 power. Sorry, my pen is just about to like lose its mind. All right, now we have application problems, which I know how much of a fan you all are, I'm not going to give up on you. Some of you will get this eventually. All right. In 2013, the national debt was approximately 1.8 times 10 to the 13th dollars. In 2014, the, net, the debt grew 3.3 times 10 to the 11th dollars. Find the total, total debt, that tells us something, at the end of 2014. Give your answer in scientific notation. If I'm finding the total of something, what do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to add. Okay, so we're going to take 1.8 times 10 to the 13th. Oh, forgive me. To the 13th power plus. 3.3 times 10 to the 11th power. Oh my. <laughs> I'm trying not to make that look like an H, but I'm just not having any luck. So that is 11. There it is, okay? Um, I need to add 2 to that 11. So if I'm adding 2, that means I'm moving 2 places. 1, 2. So now I have 1.8 times 10 to the 13th. Plus point. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Nothing seems to be working at all here right now, I can tell you that. Times point zero three three times 10 to the 13th power. 1.8 plus point zero three three. We can go ahead and figure that out. That's easy peasy. That is 1.833 times 10 to the 13th dollars. Don't forget to label your numbers, people. Label your numbers. And again, I apologize about my scribbling. I'm trying my very best with what I have here. All right, Jupiter is approximately 4.84 times 10 to the 8 miles from the sun while Neptune is approximately 2.9 times 10 to the ninth miles to the sun. How many miles closer is Jupiter than Neptune, okay? So what I wanna do is I'm going to subtract. I'm first going to take Jupiter, or uh, I'm sorry, we're gonna take Neptune and subtract Jupiter and find out how much closer it is. So, 2.8 times 10 to the ninth power minus 4.84, oh, I want to cry, times 10 to the eighth power. 
Okay, I need to turn that eight into a nine, so I want to add one. I move it one place here, 2.8 times 10. to the ninth minus 0.484 times, okay, I need to pause for a second, Okay, I'm using my pen. Now I rewrote it so it looks a little better, but remember we have the original expression we were subtracting, the difference between Neptune and Jupiter, okay? So I readjusted Jupiter because I had to add one, so I moved the decimal one place to the left. Now I can go ahead and subtract. So 2.8 minus 0.484 gives me 1.488. No, what does that give me? I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm saying here. It gives me 2.316 times 10 to the ninth miles. That's how many miles closer it is, right? It doesn't seem like a lot, but that's because it's in scientific notation. The exponent is a nine, so if we expanded that number, it would be pretty large, pretty large. Okay, I have two more um, application problems left here, 15 and 16. I'm going to give you a little hint. Well, actually, um, yeah, I'll give you a little hint. Number 15, at a certain company, the employees with the largest salary, the CEO, makes this amount of money per year, okay? The employee with the smallest salary makes this amount of money per year. Find the range. What does range mean? Range means the difference of the two. You take the largest minus the smallest. Well, clearly the CEO makes more than the employee with the smallest salary. So I will set this up for you. And then what I want you to do is I want you to solve it then. So 1.38 times 10 to the seventh minus 4.8 times 10 to the fourth. Make sure you fix your exponents so that you can go ahead and subtract, okay? Now, number 16 is kind of confusing, so please be careful. It's got two things happening. Actually, just pause the video right now and do number 15, and then we'll do number 16 together because it is kind of complicated. Okay, hopefully you realized you needed to add three to four to make it seven so that they were like terms and you could go ahead and perform the operation. So in order to add three, I need to move my decimal place one, two, three times. Then I can go ahead and subtract. And you should get 1.3848 times 10 to the seventh dollars. That's crazy, bro, crazy. All right, 16, like I said, it was kind of crazy, so I figured we'd do it together. All right, um, find 2.9 times 10 to the negative fifth less than the product of this. What does product mean? We talked about this yesterday. Product means times, the timesing. So now we're kind of kind of put together what we talked about yesterday and today. Product means times. So I'm gonna take 6.4 times 10 to the negative third power all of that times, a lot of timesing happening, five times 10 to the negative fourth power. Remember when we multiply, we just multiply the numbers out front. 6.4 times five gives me 32 times 10 to the, and then we add the exponents. Three plus negative four is Negative 7. Oh, did I write 37? I meant 32. I'm sorry. Maybe I was thinking about that exponent. Okay, let me just fix that. Ay, 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 ay. Okay. We're not quite finished yet because in the beginning it said find 2.9 times 10 to the fifth less than. Less than, that means I had to put the product first, so it's already there. I'm going to write my 2.9 times 10 to the negative fifth power 
All right, I'm going to have to change my exponents. So we can actually change two of them at once, or we can just, let's just change this negative 7. Let's just do that. Let's not, let's not make it more complicated, right? I want to add 2 to negative 7 so that it is 5. If I add 2, that means I move two decimal places, 1, 2. So I get point. 3, 2 times 10 to the negative fifth power. Oh, my goodness. Minus 2.9 times 10 to the negative fifth power. We're ready to subtract. You should get negative 2.58 times 10 to the negative fifth power. Um, this one's kind of nice because we don't have to worry about any notate or any um, units and terms or what it's in terms of, I guess I should say. So make sure you're reading it and maybe read it twice so that you know what to do. Less than is subtract. Product is time. Um, and, and just take your time and ask me questions if you need any help. I'm here to help. All right, so in a summary, explain how adding and subtracting numbers written in scientific notation differs from multiplying and dividing. So use your own words. What do you think? I know that when you're adding and subtracting, you can only do that when you have like terms, when the exponents are the same. Is that the same as when we multiply and divide? Is that what we did yesterday? So you write whatever here is gonna make your life more easier when you have your notes to take your quiz, because you're gonna have a quiz on this. All right, I uh, hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you Monday. Bye.